Hi there, it's Di from Refurbies and today we're going to take a pair of very plain and ordinary pine bedsides and turn them into something really special using Pure Eco products. So stay with us and see what we come up with. This is what we started with, boring, plain, ordinary bed signs, but we're going to clean them up and make them special. Starting with 80 grit sandpaper and a Makita random orbital sander, this is my favourite sander, we're going to take all the varnish and stain off the top. Then once we've done that, we'll come back over it with 120 grit sandpaper and then we'll go back over it again with a final sanding of 240 to smooth it out and make it nice. I'm taking my sander to remove the tiny little step in the edge. I did this to give it a bit more of a cleaner, more modern look. Next, we're going to scuff sand the entire piece with 120 grit sandpaper. Now, the reason we do this is to remove the shiny surface from the existing varnish that's already on there. So the paint has nice traction, so to speak, to adhere to. It also helps remove any gunk and lumps and imperfections along the way. We'll do this to the entire piece and then once we've done that, we'll move on to giving her a bath. Now we're going to give her a wash. We're going to use Lemon Myrtle Cleaner by Purico. We just get a warm bucket of water three pumps of the lemon myrtle cleaner and then give it a bit of a swish to mix it up. I'll also clean the inside of the drawers when doing this so when I hand the piece over to the client or the customer it's nice and clean for them and ready to go. Once we've cleaned it with the lemon myrtle cleaner I'll then get a clean damp cloth and I'll wipe off any residue left behind from the cleaner. <coughs> we're going to apply a coat of Pure Eco base and blocker to the entire piece excluding the top. Time for the fun part. Our first coat of paint we're going to use Cotton by Pure Eco in the silk finish.
ended up using four coats of cotton on the body of the piece. This is unavoidable because it's a white. On two of the drawers, we used three coats of mourning and on four of the drawers, we used two coats of mist. Now we get to jazz her up with some stenciling on the side of the drawers. Now, because I did a gray drawer, a blue drawer and a gray drawer in that order, I'm going to do the stencil in the same order, bleeding each color into the other. First things first, I'll place the stencil down evenly in the center and then I'll go ahead and I'll start stenciling. happy with the gaps at the top and the bottom so I decided to do just a little flourish up the top and the bottom and I did it the same way with the the blue and the gray bleeding into each other adding the extra flourish to the top and bottom really did make the stencil look centered and much much better Moving on to the top now, we went over this again by hand with 240 grit sandpaper just to get out any marks that were left on it and to tidy up the edges in case we got any paint on there. Next we're going to stain the top using Whisper in the Stain and Glaze. And the way we do this, well, the way I do this is I like to do the sides first. And the reason I do the sides first is because I don't want my brush strokes or sponge marks to be going in different directions. So I'll do the sides first and then I'll come over across the top going all in the same direction. So everything's going in the same way that I want it to. I hope that makes sense. I decided to go ahead and do two coats of Whisper on the top because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. Next, we're going to apply our final top coat. We're using the Satin Sealer and we'll apply this in the exact same manner that we applied the stain, starting on the sides and then going across over the top. 